Favorite part of the job is just being outside. And I mean, cruising around on a boat like this is kind of, <laughs> you know, it doesn't really get any better than that. Pretty tough job. It's Someone's got to really, do it. Though, yeah, right? exactly. I got to step up and take one for the team, you know. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Thousand Islands Wanderer Project. Today we are at the Gann Boat Museum. We're sitting under the boathouse that is on the riverfront. I've got my sister-in-law back here and my wife somewhere around here that we're going to go out and take a boat ride on one of these boats. If you want to find out more information about beautiful boats like this, you can be found on tiboatmuseum.org, which is also where you can purchase tickets to take a, about an hour long ride out in the islands. Today we are heading out on an antique Garwood boat. Garfield Wood never intended to go into the boat building business. His goal was to personally set every speed record on water and be recognized as the world's fastest speedboat king. Go for it. Today, Garwood boats are among the most sought after classic boats in the world. This is actually not a reproduction because Garwood still exists. It started in Michigan and um, Garwood actually invented the first hydraulic lift for dump trucks and with his money that he made from that got into powerboat racing. So these Garwoods really are speedboats and this one is 1989 so it's not a reproduction it's simply built the same way they were being built in the 1920s and because it's a newer boat it allowed us to get it certified by Transport Canada. It was donated to the museum to be used as a ride boat. Uh, don't tell my wife back there but I think I've got a new dream boat. These tours are meant to connect people with the heritage of the river, obviously. There are, of course, way more than a thousand islands. There are over 1,800 islands, of which 22 of them are national parks. In the early 1900s, the federal government set aside nine islands for Canadians to use for camping and docking and swimming. It's now grown to 22. And every now and then, they're left another one in trust, so that number grows. Gina, back from the boat ride, tell me something you learned about the history. The statue of Queen Elizabeth on Capitol Hill in Ottawa, uh, the base of it is from the Thousand Islands. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, Terry? Um, I learned about Leak Island, how it's owned by Americans, and they housed a lot of Canadian veterans after World War II. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, we're gonna check out this boat. So if you're looking for something to do, the Boat Museum is located at 125 Water Street in Gananoque. This boat literally has more bathrooms than our house does. And it's open from Tuesday to Sunday from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Whoa. What? <laughs> There's plenty to learn about the stories and history about how boating plays an integral role in the industry and recreation in this area. Okay, I said before that the other one was a new dream boat, but I think I found a new new dream boat already. Big shout out to the Boat Museum and a big shout out to Suzanne for taking us out and giving us a bunch of the history on the islands. We'll see you guys out in the next episode.